In this video, I wanted to talk about some pretty new technology for light cloud hosting. And I will make a follow up video about some other cloud hosting platforms that I've been using for a little while now. But in this video, I'm going to mention Doku. It's D O K K U dot com. And so I did a search here just to kind of show what the search engine says about Doku. The smallest platform as a service implementation you've ever seen. Own your platform as a service using tools you already know. Powered by Docker, you can install Doku on any hardware. And then down here you can see in this other search engine result, Doku Pro was released in late 2021 to early bird users and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. And then GitHub it says Doku Docker powered mini Heroku, the smallest platform as a service that you've ever seen. So this is what the search engines are saying about it. So if we go to their website, here we can see that they're saying it's an open source platform as a service alternative to Heroku. And as you may know, Heroku is going to be changing their pricing platform and some of the important free features will no longer be free. So this may be an option of something you may want to look into. And I'll just briefly take a look at their home page here. So here we can see powered by Docker, you can install Doku on any hardware, use it on inexpensive cloud providers. Once you've set it up on a host, you can push Heroku compatible applications to it via Git. They'll build using Heroku build packs and then run in isolating containers. The end result is your own single host version of Heroku. And so they just show about getting started, creating, deploying, scaling. And here, customize your platform as a service using plugins. So people can write Doku plugins in any language and share them online with other users and extend those already available. Doku Simple Core is easy to hack and add the features you need to get your job done. Plugins add support for additional features in Doku and Doku itself is built out of plugins, provide support for a few extra that are not included in the default installation. So you may want to take a look at this and there's an article here that you can see up in the URL. I think it's a really great article and so they're just explaining that Doku is a robust platform as a service, one of the most critical requirements for developers today. It is essential for the deployment of agile and feature rich applications that deliver favorable experiences to users. Doku is one of the top platform as a service offerings today, known for its remarkable ease of use and features. So the article is quite long, but you can go ahead and go there if you're interested in learning more. I'll point out a few other things here. The Doku uses Docker, a Linux-based container system for deployment management, and users can efficiently perform remote server deployments. It's also an open source platform that runs on your preferred server, and you need to use a minimum of one gig of system memory, typically, and you can use these different Linux operating systems, Debian, Ubuntu, and others. And you also have the choice of directing a domain name to host IP for using Doku. And ideally, Doku is meant to be used atop a new virtual machine installation. What are some advantages? Well, it's open source and it's free to use. It's entirely free open source, making it an ideal choice for developers and businesses on a tight budget. It's backed by an active community, gets regular updates. Reduce your development cost. Using this free platform as a service can radically reduce the cost of development and make projects more sustainable. 
Doku can be a convenient platform for businesses that need a robust platform as a service starting point. Accelerate time to market. Doku is an agile platform that offers a vast array of services in association with leading providers like DigitalOcean, AWS, and Google Cloud. Easy to use, free for use. And what's the pricing? Well, it's free, but they do have a pro version that they're working on, and I'll show that page in just a, just a second here. Um, where to host your app created with Doku. Doku users can download the required platform as a service resources from its GitHub page and start using it immediately. It can be run on DigitalOcean, AWS, or Google Cloud. DigitalOcean in particular is quite a convenient option for the needs of Doku users. They can get easy access to several ready to use images to run Doku on the DigitalOcean marketplace. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that helps you consider a new and upcoming cloud hosting service. And I mentioned the pro version. If you wanted to get in early, this gives you a user interface to the platform as a service and you can see some of the features there and the pricing if you got in early $849 for life limited time pricing free upgrades forever one production server two pre-production servers full access to the web UI JSON API rest API HTTPS get push support team management and email support so it seems like a pretty good price, especially for businesses if you wanted to get in early. So definitely take a look at this. And I hope you found this helpful. I did want to show one other page. This is from the Doku documentation. So what is Doku? It's an extensible open source platform as a service that runs on a single server of your choice. Doku supports building apps on the fly from a git push via either a docker file or by auto detecting the language with build packs and then starts containers based on your built image using technologies like nginx and cron web processes are automatically routed to while background processes are and automated cron tasks are also managed by doku system requirements you can see here you'll need a system that meets the following requirements, a fresh installation of Ubuntu 18.0.4 or Debian, and a server with one of the following architectures, AMD64, ARMv7, or ARMv8. To avoid memory pressures during builds or runtime of your applications, they suggest the following, at least one gig of system memory. There is a workaround if you were wondering and if you, if you want to read about that, you can click this link here. It may help you if you want to use less than one gigabyte of system memory. So anyway, you may want to take a look at this documentation. There's some good information here. DigitalOcean droplet, installation notes, and other information for you. So thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you in another video. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.